Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you had a good week last week. We are here, we're at week 12, the final official racing week of IMSA season 2 2020. Exciting stuff, can't believe how quickly the season's gone. Um, if you thought that the last week in Canada uh, was, was a bit crazy, then you're in for a bit of a shock this week because we're here at Belle Isle, here in Detroit, where you are surrounded by walls and every corner is a death trap. Um, what a challenge. Uh, the, the, the other new course for me uh, this season. Um, so I spent the week on it to really sort of do my best. I think there is still more time on the table, but we've worked really hard here. Uh, before we get going with the guide, there's one thing I would like to say. We are doing a community race very soon on the 7th of June and the server opens at 7 30 pm uk time so that's gmt plus one so 7th of june uh, 7 30 pm gm gmt plus one uh, we are doing a two-hour race at le mans in the gtes it's a team event you can solo it but if you if you want to come with a team of two we'd love that um, head over to the discord which you'll find down in the uh, description below sign up for it there's a little message in the welcome thing to show you what to do uh, it's really easy it'll take you like two seconds come and race it's going to be great fun practice starts at 7 30 we're having a 20 minute open qualifier at 8 40 and then we are racing from nine for two hours and we've got a little prize for the winning team so let's uh you know make it a little bit more interesting all right then guys well that's enough waffle from me have a really good week here it's going to be chaos but you know it's a fun track once you once you get its little uh, nuances of which there are uh, many uh, so good luck guys and i will see you next time cheers Okay, that was our 126.79 at Belle Isle. Just crossing the line now, and we're looking to the 300 marker because we're breaking just in the run up to that. And we're shifting down to fourth, and we want to hug quite tight to the inside curb. We're turning just after the 200 board. We're back on the gas quite early because we're, we're on it for a very brief period. So we ramp up the gas and then we're straight off. We really want to help the turn in here. We want to keep tight for a late apex. Back on the gas, we're steering right into it. I catch quite a lot of curb here. You, you know, you don't need to catch the curb, but you do have to be mindful of that outside edge. The, the track falls away, gets very squirrely here. Very easy to lose it and hit that outside wall there. We don't want that. So we're just going to speed up as we uh, come down the track, down under the bridge. We want to move over to the left and then we want to start looking for the for the boards again. And we're going to brake really quite heavily just as we're passing the 400 board. And this time we're coming all the way down into second and we're going to start our turning 
around about the 100 board thereabouts and we we can catch the curb on the inside here obviously we can't bite too much off we can have a bit more than that we want to be back on the gas and accelerating out we really have to attack the apexes here at Belle Isle otherwise you just don't stand a chance so we're up through the gas again we're looking to the trees on the left and just as we're hitting this tree here we're on the brakes not too heavily we're looking into the apex for the corner we're not coming down to third we really just want to carry as much speed around here as we possibly can if we get the entry right you can do that without having danger of the wall we're quickly shifting back over to the right and we're looking for the kink in the wall just coming up here just in front of us now after the lamppost that's our braking marker we're coming down to second it's a deceptively tight corner this it looks wide on entry we need to get that car turned by the time we're on the apex we want to be pointing mostly in the right direction um, because the, the the wall sort of like moves in on us on exit so we've got to be super careful here takes a bit of practice and then we quickly flick the car back over to the left now another tree for a marker it's, it's quite tricky a couple of these corners we're looking up to a very very blind right but basically what we want to do is start the turn in really early get as close to this wall as we can so that we can attack again with the accelerator before we've apexed so that we can exit at speed for this really quite long piece of straight we need to get that corner right here otherwise our lap times are really suffering we've got to be brave okay so here the the instinct would be to come over to the left of the track but we want to keep far right because we're coming into a braking zone and we want to approach it straight it's a heavy braking zone it's easy to mix this next corner at the end of this tire there's a long tire mark running down here uh, that's where we want to start our turn in we're looking to the bridge and we want to start braking just before the 400 board you cannot cannot leave this too late you're gonna have big problems so we're braking heavily we're coming right down through the gears we're looking for this bit of um, uh, light coloured brickwork on the left after the 200 board, that's our turn in. We want to eat some of this inside kerb, get back on the gas, miss this wall, <laughs> nine times out of ten, guaranteed. And then we're flicking back over to the right because we want to break under the bridge here um, for a really kind of quite slow left. Um, it looks like a far, it looks faster than it actually is you've got to be careful here you don't really want to get too much curb it will sort of really unsettle the car so we're back on the gas full for a little while we're gonna go up to third we're actually going to keep it in third round here uh, just to carry a bit of momentum we're just using the accelerator come to bring us tight into the apex there we're only about mid track and that's fine maybe a little touch on the brake just to get the car turned we don't want to be too far towards the middle of the track here. We want to be over to the left as much as we can so that we can hit the brakes in a straight line all the way down into first here. I took some curb here. You know, I was quite lucky it was just the back wheel, so it kind of helped a little bit. But um, again, we've got a, a long bit of uh, straight here, so we need to sort of make sure we hit that as well as we can. So at the 300 board we're breaking down now you could go in second here I keep it in third so I find the extra momentum just really helps me we're turning in on around about the 100 board and if you get that turn in right you can carry a, a deceptive amount of speed around this bit and um, for this next right we're not going to break at all we're just going to let off the accelerator to help the car turn in and then we're back on the gas punching it now because this is our lap essentially over we've just got to pass the pit lane take a full speed right hander where we'll obviously cut off the corner as much as we can and that is our lap that's our 126.79 it's a tough old track here um, I hope you enjoyed the guide if it was useful please do consider subscribing and hitting that little bell 
Don't forget to visit findingspeed.com forward slash IMSA to download my setup and my ghost car. Um, good luck this week. It's going to be a tough one here. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the guides this season and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Cheers guys.